team welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to be looking at using dynamic C objects to JSON and then JSON back to dynamic C objects if you're new to my channel or just haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and supporting my channel appreciate it Before we get into it, notice that I have installed Newton Soft and we're going to be using System Dynamic on this right here. So here we go team. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a dynamic object as dynamic object. We're going to populate that object with three entries. We're going to use the columns address line one, city, and state. Okay. So it sounds pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop in our little method that we're going to write and it's going to be called build dynamic object. So what we're doing here is we're building a dynamic list and that list variables name is address and notice I'm using three fields that don't exist nowhere. This is dynamic and then I'm going to return this object through this list back to dynamic object. When we're programming, always take baby steps. Baby steps make you finish. So here you can see that the name of my variable on line 23 is dyn object. And here you can see that I'm going to get the count for all that object and then I'm going to loop through there and I'm going to console write that. So when I'm running my program, this thing will pop up. our goal is to take that object, that dynamic object, and convert it to JSON and save it to disk. And so we have this method here, convert dynamic list to JSON. We have to write that now. That's quite simple. Just a few lines of code. And here, notice the object here, I just said var. When I created the object, notice that I said the return value is type list.dynamic. So notice here, my input parameters to the safe one is that same object. It's called list.dynamic. Now when I come in here, I'm going to serialize that object. And when it runs through this method, it generates a string looking pattern. And it's a JSON object. Then I'm going to take an output directory, a file, I'm going to delete the file that exists and then I'm going to write a new one. In the last step, we converted the dynamic list to JSON and we saved that to disk. In this step, we are going to read it from disk. It's in JSON and we're going to convert it back to that dynamic list. Let's do that. You can see here, we're going to read a file, convert it to object. That object is going to go into a variable called data and it is of type list expando object and it's coming from data which is type list expando object. And now we have that code there so let's take a look at this. We're going to read a file and then we're going to convert it to object. So my file is out there in temp YouTube new dynamic list.json. I'm going to see if that file exists and then I'm going to read that file and I'm going to store it into a variable called just text. It may be JSON, but it actually looks like just text. And then I'm going to run that through Newton soft deserialize object. And notice we're going to be using the type list of type expando object. And notice my text is the first parameter. The second parameter is this expando object converter and that's going to be assigned back to data so this right here will be our c sharp looking object of course it's dynamic because we're not we don't even have an object and then i'm going to return that data and that data goes through this variable expando and it comes back up here to this line I'm going to hit the F10 button 
it compiles, and then it's running. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build that dynamic object. I'm going to hit F11 and get in there. I'm going to load that. Let's look at address. It's got three entries. One, two, three. Right? Very simple. I'm going to return that. And that goes into this variable, dynobj. Let's take a look at that. Notice it also has three objects. It's the same object. And here, I'm just going to go around three times. And I'm going to print this to the console. So one, two, three. Let's bring the console over so you can see that. And notice, I have my output. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert that dynamic object to a JSON object, and I'm going to save it to disk. Let's do that. F11 to step in there. And the first thing I'm going to do is notice that my list dynamic is going to be serialized into this JSON. And notice that looks just like a little string. It's a JSON object, but it's just a string. And then I'm going to build a file name. I'm going to delete that file name. And then I'm actually going to write that file name and the JSON out to that folder. And then I'm going to say format document. And notice that is our output. And this is JSON. And now I'm going to read that file structure and I'm going to convert it back to C sharp. I'm going to go to that file that I just showed you. It exists. I'm going to read it all. I'm going to put it into a variable. And then I'm going to deserialize that. And I'm going to make it look like this list type expando object. Remember, it's dynamic. I don't have a C class that tells me the data structure. This is dynamic. And now, notice that I got three, three entries. Beautiful. And then I'm going to loop over it three times and print it out to the screen. I'm done. Let's bring over the screen so you can look at that. And notice that I got our last three lines. And we are done. There you go, team. This is a nice skill to have in the bag. I appreciate you sitting through this video. And if you haven't subscribed, I sure would appreciate hitting the subscribe button below. And if you feel like I deserve a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that as well. See you guys in the next video.